yesterday. Oh, no, is it not? So both 30. of us have had like a hair, hair transformation. Really here, isn't it? <laughs> it, is nice, it is nice, it is nice, it is nice. It's lovely. Just see this part of my face. <laughs> That's your new look. I'm loving that new look. It suits you, by the way. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello. guys. Hi, guys. Hi. So, we're just here comparing hair. Farah has got a chop. Wow. And I've got like a. Um, slightly short. And you've got color. And I've got color. I've colored my hair. It looks a bit gingery on the camera, but it's not. I can assure you, it's not that it gingery. It is quite gingery back then. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> As we promised, we are here. We are here. Oh my gosh, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you all had a fabulous week. I really need an earring. Can I try this one? I think I need like a feminine side because in the camera, this looks well. <laughs> okay, doesn't it? Farah just asked me, she said to me, Does she look like a, that? Her son thinks that she looks like a lesbian with her haircut. And I said, What's wrong with being lesbian anyway? Exactly, it's fabulous. Be who you are, celebrate who you are. Actually, it looks quite nice with one earring on. I oh, know, it would be. Tonight, I'm going to wear one that's, earring. That's a look for tonight. Ooh, I might actually borrow a selection from Dan. Yes! Or yes! the live on that and show you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hello, guys. I'm, I'm, we're excited because we we're so going excited. out. We are going out tonight. We're having a girls' and night place, out. Ella. Yes, this night out is long what overdue. What you think, Ella? So she's now uh, she wants to borrow an earrings. So you can you're more than welcome to to borrow any earrings. So we're we're excited and we feel like little kids that have been let out for the first time. <laughs> In a while. I'm looking forward to getting my frock on. I'm looking forward to wearing my heels, doing my makeup, oh, going yeah. for a bold look. You've got your makeup on already. I've got my makeup, I've got the base makeup oh, have done. You? Okay. I dyed my hair myself today because I'm looking forward to this. To go dance on the boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> Is that what we're going to do? Boogie? No, 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 no. We're doing Insta Live, but you see the story. <laughs> I need to be on it all night, so. Boogie, 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 boogie. Oh my God, it's going to be so fun. But anyway, guys, we are talking about disappointment. Sorry, I'm not going dis to disappoint you today um, with my dance move. Boogie, 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 boom, 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 boom. I probably never was going to twerk. Oh, did you see that, guys? Did you know you were going to do this <laughs> bonus thing today? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll video when you're not watching. Oh, my God. Because when she dances, the eyes are closed. All oh, right. Oh, no, no, because when you're dancing, it's you like have that. to feel the music, isn't it? You, 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 you're transported somewhere that nobody else can come into. You know, you're in that, your world. There's only you and she you and the dance floor. She with her... Um, Soulfulness with my imaginary dance partner. Oh, here we go. So that's tonight, what's going to be happening tonight. tonight. So tonight. Farah, we're going to capture the yes with my imaginary partner. Oh, is that feel? Is that feeling so strong of someone is coming? Oh yes, I know someone is coming. Well, they they don't even know it yet. I know they are coming for me. They are coming. The path. They being are dug. coming. The path's being dug. Oh my God, I am having faith that that future somebody. That future Mr. Right is coming. He doesn't quite know it yet, but it's coming my way. And I can feel it. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, wow. I don't know if we're going to get through this uh, solstice. <laughs> well but you know what? That's, I'm not, exactly. I am not being expecting. I'm not expecting so much. I'm not. not Never yeah. have expected. No, Always because for straight. Yeah, hope exactly. I'm hoping. So I'm not expecting, so I, I won't be disappointed. Hope. I love the name Hope. I love the name. Just the minute you say Hope. Yeah, it just feels your spirit. It's beautiful, like, yeah. I love the name Hope. Yeah. yeah. So we are talking about disappointments today. Hmm. Um, the, re the reason I've mentioned that, yeah. well, because my um, uh, friend, Sue, mm. who's a trained therapist, yeah. and I do a podcast with her every week, mm. um, her, she is in the middle of buying a house. So okay. she sold, she's in the middle of selling hers yeah. and buying another one yeah. down in Northampton. Mm -hmm. And she lost the sale because her house fell through and then she had to let go of the other one. And I asked her, how is she? And she said, disappointed. Yeah, because and she I was expecting. And I said to her, how do you deal with disappointment then? Yeah. 
It's a this? feeling, it's an emotion it's that an emotion. really hurts. Yeah, it does. And it depends what it is, you know, it, it, you can... Um, but... It's not one of those things someone can say, get over it. If it's meant to be, it will be meant... If it's meant to be, it will be yours. If it's not meant to be, it will not be yours. And when you know what, what we, we discussed that, it was day two of her disappointment. And she said, you know, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't look at things to blame. I didn't... Mm. I just let it be. Mm. Because there's nothing you can... You need to go through the emotion. Yeah. So her feeling of disappointment, she mm -hmm. had to sit through it. Mm -hmm. Then never next day mm. things like it's meant to be actually yeah, yeah. or god save me from this exactly. or the universe didn't want me because to have something, this something something wasn't coming. right something stopped her getting there yeah. so it's look if she now looks at it as a blessing mm -hmm. rather than disappointment now mm -hmm. look at that whole thing mm -hmm. it's complete. she's even she's lost two grand over it because when you start the sale you start uh, paying for the checks and yeah, so she yeah. Got, but she's she's thinking two grand compared to what she's buying, which is yeah, because the thing is she might 500, she might buy that house yeah. and then later on find out that she's gonna spend more than two grand anyway in that house because there might be hidden things in that but house she that she doesn't with it beautifully, but she didn't know about. So that is a way of God and the universe telling her, preventing her from spending that much mm. money that she's gonna spend. So is yes, she's gonna she's disappointed, but imagine. She's going to see something even better that's going to come in future. Yeah. Absolutely. And something that will now require more of, require less money to be spent. Yeah. Because obviously that house is going to come fully packaged. No, not so no cracks and whatever, whatever. It'll be better for It'll be better business. for her business. Exactly. She's looking for a place where she can do her therapy in a lovely, calm environment. Yeah. Like a conservatory with like rose bushes. And, mm. you know, she's got a set image yeah. in her mind. And yeah. this house obviously fitted yeah. in. However, there was a couple of things she said to me. Yeah, however, people can go past easily the next door. So there were things that she'd picked out. Yeah. So she wasn't 100% sure about That's, it. And the universe felt that. The universe felt yeah. she wasn't happy with it. And they just came in, interfered, and just made the obstruction. So and you, initially when it happens, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, and it'd be really good to know that people who are listening, that if you have gone through um, a scenario where you have been disappointed, it could be quite a big scenario or quite small. It's great, it'd be great for you guys to come forward and tell us that, you know, what was then, how actually did you deal with it? Mm. Also, what disappointment shows, in this particular case, where our house fell through, mm. she doesn't really know how, you know, she doesn't know all of the elements how to buy it. Mm. So now she has learned you that have to the learn things from that. that she didn't do yeah. properly or thought or took for granted or yeah. didn't find out enough about. Yeah. It's an opportunity to learn. But that only happens, guys, when you get let down. Yeah, that's it. If, she, if that house hadn't gone down or hadn't mm -hmm. got had gone through, she would have never learned. And the next process, mm. she wouldn't have known everything. So you always learn from every experience in life. It's never a disappointment, yeah. really, when you look at it. Yeah. You know, you hear that saying that every disappointment means the blessing. Yeah. And it's so true. It really is. It's so true. I mean, I've had, we've, I've had countless... Um, disappointments and I am um, obviously business as well I had one recently but for me I've learned not to take every disappointment personally it's not it's my is it? not to take it personally it's going it might not it might be something to do with me it might not be anything to do why is your phone always on low battery when you come to my house <laughs> <laughs> so I come across I've noticed I've noticed it always on it oh okay but, yeah, but it, it the it was like twenty percent of the day. Oh, okay. So, and I've realized not to take anything personally because if you know your worth mm. and you know the value that you hold within yourself, yeah, then you will never be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, you cannot be everything to everyone, and not everybody will like you. Yeah. Not everybody will appreciate you. Some people will like you. Some people will appreciate you. But once you have that mentality that you're not for everyone then you will never be disappointed. And that you're true to yourself. And you're true to yourself. I mean, I had this, this is business. I mean, I've had numerous ones. I mean, uh, well, it happened quite recently, about a few months ago. I had a huge retailer. You know, they have a huge stores, whatever. And they came in quite excited. They, you know, they approached me. I was quite excited. I thought, oh my God, this is huge. You know, yeah. this is big. Yeah. You know, and we were talking business. You know, they placed their orders. They paid the deposit, 50% 50, 50 deposit. We, we shook hands. We agreed on the deal and they did something from their end that was quite this for me as a person I felt it was quite disrespectful to my integrity and to my business you know and I didn't want to set I'm not one of those designers to now start begging people to now appreciate my product because I know how good my product is because I know the value I've placed on it I know I, I hold myself to high esteem because you have to if you're a creative you have to respect your work you have to mm. value your work 
and to be able to now present your work in a way that it has to be seen in a positive light. Yes, they love my product, but they try to abuse my, how do you call it? My niceness. Your good nature. My goodness. My good, yeah, my mm -hmm. good nature. So they, they ordered some stuff, ordered some earrings, ordered some slippers. And obviously they wanted some samples which are sent to them for them to use for their photo shoot, whatever. So obviously due to hygiene purposes, I will not take back earrings. I will only take back earrings as a kind gesture. Okay. If there's a fault. If there's a fault. If there's a fault, hmm. I will take it back. But if you've knowingly known that as a retailer, you know that you know you know that already that you don't take back earrings that people have worn due to Plus hygiene. You let purposes. them know anyway. Everybody. You let them know. So what happened was they knew that in the contract. That was constantly mentioned in the email. So they wore the earrings and they posed all over Morocco with these earrings. They did their photo shoot, which they have publicly publicized on their website and on their Instagram, on their social media platform. And they turned around to me and told me they want to return back the earrings. And I said to them, um, you think I was born yesterday? So I've seen all the images on Instagram and everywhere. And then you now want to return the earrings you've worn. I said, uh-uh, no. So, you see, as a, if, if, if I didn't have, have, have value on, for myself and for my brand and for the things I produce, I would have now said to myself, desperation would now sink in. I said, okay, don't worry, that's fine. It's okay, return them, that's okay. No. 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 I, like, I said no. No is back, guys. I said, no, no. <laughs> I don't care whether you are a multi-million company. No is a no. Mm. You cannot take a mickey out of a designer that is striving hard, working hard. I said, end to the on, end to the no, end to the zero, end to the O, to the no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you're so only, when I only, say that. I'm only on tea, by the way. I can show I'm only you. on tea, green tea, peppermint tea. So I said, no. So what happened was, they now said to me, okay, yeah, because I refused, they threw a childlike tantrum. I laughed and laughed. I said to myself, even my dog Gizmo throws better tantrums than that. <laughs> so you know what? That is not even going to phase me. So they now said, oh, because you didn't take back the earrings, we're canceling the whole order. And they did? And they canceled the whole order, you which is a, which is thousands of pounds. But it's okay. I didn't feel disappointed. Why should I feel disappointed? I didn't feel disappointed. I looked at the stuff that I made. Yes, I spent sleepless nights making them. I made sure that the orders were due on time, which meant I had a few months to prepare a lot of shoes and to prepare a lot of jewelry for them. Yes. Did they lose the deposit, I hope? Of course I kept the deposit. I was going to say, you can't, they can't use it and then skip it back. No, no, but the thing is, people will get hurt and think, oh, well, I've made all these things. How am I going to sell them now? Yeah. You know, people be like, oh, I made it. You know, people say, oh, well, I said, okay, thank you. It was lovely doing business with you. But on this occasion, it wasn't meant to happen. And I let that go. I didn't sit down there wallowing in self-pity. And I didn't sit down there crying, thinking, how am I going to get rid of all this stuff? And guess what happened? A few days or a few, a few days after that rejection, guess what happened? I sold all those pieces that they didn't want. Awesome. So the thing is, when you now start, when you, and I said to myself, okay, listen, I'm not going to get disappointed over this because I know my true worth. I know my value. I'm not going to now place my value on somebody else's hand mm -hmm. for them to now have a power over me and control me because I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. Course, so if yeah. my product is not, if they don't appreciate my product enough and respect my product enough, then my product it doesn't deserve to be on their on their on their website or on their platform. So I had to let that go. I don't care is a big retailer or whatever. I had to let that go and say, you know what? And that's that's great attitude. Let that go. But, however, I don't think everyone can um, be as good as that. No, but it's yes, no, that, so yes. That. But the thing is, when you start to play, you just have always had this mentality. Not everybody has to like you cannot expect something from people that they cannot give you anyways. Hmm. Where expectation leads to frustration. If you are expecting somebody to give you something that they don't have, you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be disappointed. And the reason why you're disappointed is that you are relying on them to give you that thing. 
Like, but when you don't rely on anybody to give you that thing, and you happily go off on your own, and you're doing your own thing, doing what you can with what you have, yeah, you will never be disappointed. I, I was just thinking what kind of um, scenarios do I get disappointed in? And I don't get disappointed a lot, because my expectation is very... It's Limited, zero. It's yeah. Zero. I don't expect a lot from people. However... When you've made an appointment for a client to come and see you for a coffee and a chat, mm. and you've taken their time to go there, you've opened the unit, you know, Oak Tree Centre, to go mm. and sit there, mm. you've got the paperwork ready, and you're really looking forward to meeting this person. Yeah. You're like, there's another person I'm going to help. Yeah. I want to help them to have a better life. Yeah. And when they don't text you even to say they're not coming, or an email, or nothing... I feel disappointed. No, no, don't feel disappointed. Don't, no, 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 no. No, because momentarily, that's how I feel. Yes, it's normal. Yeah, but absolutely. you just feel like okay, they don't need. Maybe they don't need. They're not ready. Yet. They're not ready yet. So they they kind of chicken out. They chicken out. But, and it's only a chat. And it's, it's it's only a chat. That's it. But they're like, oh my god, what's going to happen? I'll have to sign up something I don't want. To. Exactly. And, so they don't give and you know, it's harder for people to say no when put in that position. Okay. So they now look for other ways to now. Why does my dog do this every week, every Friday? What are you doing? Sorry, guys. My no. dog is as horny as anything. Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to move this cushion that again. That means? That's what he's doing. He's humping his bed. And he's not supposed to be humping his bed. All right, keep talking. Yeah, okay. so um, I was just saying that the disappointment happens as someone lets you down, doesn't it? And if you are someone who's not expecting anything, you will not get disappointed. Yeah. Try have hope. I always have hope that this client will walk in through the door because they will be doing themselves a favour more mm -hmm. than me, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Um, but there's always a hope, not an expectation. So I set myself always like that. I always have yeah. a pep talk with myself. Yeah. If they come in, they come in. That's great. If they don't, then... That's it. They're lost. So it really is. <laughs> That's it. You, like, I, like I say, you cannot please everyone. You cannot please everyone. Exactly. You cannot expect people to give you something that they cannot give you anyways. Okay. It's like when you're in a relationship, you expect them to give you love. And you are forcing that love. Don't force love. Don't force love on people or expecting love from somebody who cannot even, don't even know what love is. I feel um, when um, parents say to their kids, I'm I feel I'm really disappointed in you. I think that's... So hurtful. Yeah, because like, you're, yeah, so you're expecting them I, to behave I, in a certain way. Like, for example, exam results or um, exam results or I've taught you better than this yeah. or you've brought a boyfriend home or and they're disappointed in you and you're like, you haven't done anything wrong to you. you yeah. haven't done, but that feeling from your parent when your parents are disappointed from you is horrible. But I think we need it to is, change that word disappointment. We shouldn't, use it. I, we shouldn't we because we're now awful. misusing that word. Yeah. You know, when, when you mean, when somebody says, I dislike your action, we use the word we're disappointed. Or but disappointed in you rather than I don't yeah, like your behavior. It, yeah, because yeah, exactly because, because you're not, you're not you're why, not happy with the yeah, behavior. Why are you disappointed in your child? You can and never. No, be you can never be disappointed. Child. If you're disappointed, you are di you're disliking the behavior, not the yeah, child. You see, when you've used the word disappointment, it has more personal power to it, and it's m massive effect on oh the child my gosh. or the person. Yeah, you say such, it's a word that cannot be used frequently or to ourselves. Oh, I feel so disappointed with myself. Yo, when you haven't, that. when we haven't, when we, that. when we haven't hit a certain target or we haven't reached a certain goal. Or if you're, you're, if now... you're chasing a, a weight loss number yeah. and you go onto those scales, and I'm going to write about this actually, yeah. about nightmare of scales. Yeah. It's, it really it's ruins, terrible. Your, ruins your brain, yeah. uh, your mind. And when you don't get that specific number that you've set yourself, like two pound goal or whatever, yeah. you're so disappointed in yourself. You say you, that. You put yourself know? in a naughty corner. Why are you disappointed? Why are you not saying, actually, I'm going to try harder? Or why are you not saying things like, I did well, actually. I've got, yeah. I, I've got a pound and a half there. Yeah. I've got quite two pounds. Oh, even, why are we so quick to take it to that's it. from 10 to zero? Yeah. Right down. You know, instead of praising, right instead, instead of in praising the, the, the fact that you've got started in the first place. Exactly. You're, you're so quick to beat yourself up for not reaching the tag. And you're thinking, and you forget how far you've come. For that split second, you forgot how far you've come. Exactly. And you're just looking at that moment. And that, you're just that, thinking, that, that moment ruins that of, whole process. The whole like, week where you've been great, you haven't had a biscuit, and you've had lots of water, or you have had healthy snacks, or you've had all those things you've done. So yeah. you have taken 10 actions. Yeah. But those 10 actions took you to pound and a half, not two. Exactly. So you've written yourself off. Yeah. And as a result of that, what you've done is gone and bought yourself a massive bar of chocolate and yeah. ate it because you feel disappointed in yourself. Listen. So look at what you've yeah. achieved. 
don't concentrate on what you haven't achieved mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you'll be less disappointed with yourself and in life that's it stop. yeah and the thing is listen for me i don't feel disappointed whenever i eat chocolate i don't i enjoy it because you work out don't you i work out that's the thing i work i work out i went for my body pump today you and did? those damn weights did not have mercy on your sister here Wait. but the thing i lift i went body what pump you, what, what you lift what's the lifting i lift about i lift five no 10 kg and i mix it with a 5 kg and 2.5 uh, so bar, i have it in a bar, bar. Okay. and i lift it okay so at that moment in time it's hard, huh? i am not it's hard and i'm not feeling bad about myself i'm not feeling like i'm disappointed with myself i am doing this course as this lady is telling me squat 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 your girl is carrying those weights on her back and i am squatting because the thing is i am proud of myself and i'm really proud i of am you. proud of this myself last year you couldn't go to the gym I went, nah, the gym was my stairs. Exactly. Now, Jip, they're going to the gym and getting all these classes she's booked, massive tick. Yeah. Look at the progress. And she's putting weights on her bar and doing squats with bars on her back. Damn. That is not an easy thing to do. I'm like, so, I felt so powerful. So, exactly. And look at the feeling she's getting out of it. So if she had now set herself a target, I'm going to lift 50 kilos and she lifted 45. Mm. Are you going to tell yourself you're disappointed? Or are you going to tell yourself, wow, okay, I've got a bit more work to do. Mm. But I am so glad because this time last year, I didn't lift a, yeah. a kilo, let alone yeah. 45 yeah. kilos. Yeah. So it's look at what you've achieved yeah. and less co no concentration on yeah. what you haven't done. That's it. That's it. Just keep praising yourself for even taking the little steps. Yeah, we're because so, we, so bad we at that. are so bad at that. Oh, me, me included. I mean, oh I'm my god! When was the last time I said well done to myself? I say well done to myself all the time. Sorry, I'm not bragging. And I don't like this. This week, I cre I made four pairs of trainers this week, and I'm so damn proud of myself. Oh, I'm proud of you. That is awesome. That's so, oh, I, I made four it, trainers. Yeah. Yes, I took dedication. Yes, I woke up very early in the morning, and Today I went. Well. I, 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 four o'clock. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, you I, woke up, today. I woke up four o'clock this morning and I knew I was going to go for a workout because every now and then I woke up at four, I worked, my daughter was going to wake up at 6.30 for school, the alarm went off and I heard her telling Google, hey Google, switch off Google and I think, hey, she's switching off Google, anyway this girl better care, so she woke up at seven o'clock, I knew I had to do school run, prepare breakfast, I made her breakfast, served her breakfast in her room. Ooh, special. She special gets treatment. VIP treatment, served her breakfast, did school run, came back, tidied the house, did all the washing, and then I went for the gym. And had a chat with me. And had a chat with you, <laughs> and went to the gym, and then went around to run a few errands, did this, did that, and then came back, had a shower, and still worked. So the thing is, I pressed myself today because I, yes, I woke up. Majorly early. No, because I knew, what well, no, I knew we're going out tonight. So and if we're not home. going out tonight, I was going to work tonight anyway, yeah. after my date night with my child. I was going to now work. Yeah. So because I knew we're going out tonight, I said to myself, wake up early, cram as much as you can with work, okay? Productive work. Cram as much as you can, run around, do a few errands, because I knew coming to the end of the month, you have to run around, do a few errands. And then obviously came back still before the Zahara came back from school. I crammed in quite a lot of work. And then before you came along, I was still working, preparing for the, you know, for our talk today, preparing. And I knew like this evening, I'm going to go out boogie. So I have, I've done quite a bit. And you feel good, don't you? And I you feel good. Feel like so I, don't, I won't feel disappointed with myself yeah. that, okay, I haven't done much because I know that I have done You've a done lot. done a lot, yeah. And I praise myself. So for my reward tonight is dancing on the dance floor you better move the boot dj see what your mom's doing here yeah doing. so my reward tonight is i'm gonna now dance like a crazy crazy lady on the dance floor displaying all my moves all my michael jackson moves Oh, yeah. oh my, oh my, yeah, oh my Macarena oh, moves. It's a, it's a pay weekend. It's gonna be quite busy. Oh, it's gonna be, be. I am looking. I said to you that my potential, potential, it's potential coming. is coming. coming. It's coming. It might be tonight. It might happen tonight. My potential husband. If you guys don't know, I have. I've got this thing that my power potential, this power that my potential, Mister Right, is coming somewhere. It might come tonight after I've looked good with my dyed blonde hair. But hey, Becky! Yes, Becky is coming. She's got her dancing shoes on. Oh, yes, she so has. it's gonna be fun, fun. So my reward tonight is to go out and have fun. So I'm not disappointed with myself. 
So every time you've accomplished something, praise yourself for it. Don't sit down there feeling bad, throwing pity party, thinking, oh my gosh, why they don't want me. Listen, anybody that doesn't want you is their loss. Tell yourself that. Anybody that doesn't want you, or any job that doesn't want you, or any relationship that doesn't want you, or you fancy somebody that don't fancy you back, or whatever, anybody that doesn't want you that you're giving your feelings to, and they're not being reciprocal, or responding let back in the, let it, let it go. Let them go. It's not they're meant not for, for you. you. Unless it's your child. Unless if it's your child. Your parent, if it's your child, then, then you... Give them time. Give, give them you, time. Give yourself time and give them time because it's temporary and they will come round. Mm -hmm. It's just momentarily because of whatever is going on in their life. That's like the it. divorce or separation. Yeah. And sometimes kids can have that reaction, but that doesn't mean that you think you are the worst mother in the world and you're the worst daughter in the world. It doesn't mean that. It's um, you know, as parents, we feel like, oh, we're not like our children are disappointed with us, but, you know, as parents, we try our best we, so, we, we never try. say that we are good enough, do we? We we never. But the thing is, think about it. We we never we never praise ourselves enough. We don't think it, we're never enough. We're never, we're not but we enough. can never be enough to everyone. Exactly. We cannot be enough to everyone. But because it's it's our own stand, oh. it's, it's our own standards we've put so high that when we don't achieve those, that's when we get disappointed. No, but it's, we cannot be. We yes, we are. You built know, with let me tell you. Let me tell you a recent example of disappointment. So the boys went to play. Um, play. They went to watch Tottenham on Wednesday evening. Mm -hmm. Tottenham was using MK Don's ground, and yeah. Tottenham still being built. Yeah. So they were playing. Are they playing tomorrow by any chance? No. I think it's football match tomorrow. Oh no, there is MK Don's are playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they were playing. So it's going to be a massive match. You know, huge. I knew that boys were going in school day. We knew mm. that, but it's a one-off opportunity. You know, so mm. Keith took them. But when <laughs> on the way back. <clears throat> the match finished at 10. The mm. traffic was till 11. Yeah. Then the boys decided to have some photos with some of the, uh, the players. football players. Yeah. They're, they're very good at that now. They know how to get in there. Um, all, all, so I was meant to stay up and wait for them, mm. obviously. Mm. And me and Afro we were just late. I said to Afro, you can you go to sleep because it was really tired. I've mm. got to stay up for them, you know. Mm. I'm the mum. I've got to do it. Yeah. So I, sat, I, I was going to sit and watch TV. Then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to lay in bed and just go on my computer. Mm. And then I thought, I'm just going to lie down and, and you know, just, <laughs> just wait like that. And I got a text from Keith about 5 to 11 saying, there's a lot of traffic. And I was like, okay, well, just let me know. Yeah. I'm still waiting for them. Zane had his keys, but there's no way I want him to just go to sleep yeah, without me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking him in. Guess what? Next thing, 12.38. So I fell asleep, didn't I? In an <gasps> awkward position in bed. Oh. The boys came in. I did not hear a sick and I wrote not a single noise. They unlocked the door. Oh. They went upstairs. They, I'd, I'd got the toothbrushes ready and the uniforms ready for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, for tomorrow, They yeah. brushed their teeth. I could see the little piles of clothes oh. on the floor where they're taking the Tottenham kits yeah. off. And they put themselves to bed. Oh. But the biggest thing I felt was disappointment. disappointment. Yeah. I was so disappointed with myself for not even hearing them. I'm like, what kind of mother are you? You should be a shit. And I told myself off so much. And like my first thing in the morning, 12.38, I went upstairs to obviously see, where are they? I got a big fright. Like, where yeah. are they? You yeah. know, if they're not come in yet. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at my phone. Keith hasn't said anything. So uh, I went upstairs and they're fast asleep. Sleep. Both oh. of them in one bed. Oh. And they know that mummy doesn't like them that in school days. They need to sleep separately. Yeah. But then next morning I said to the boys and I thought, no, you can either come across all pathetic and say, yeah. we're so sorry that I fell asleep. Yeah. Instead I said, guys, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You, you guys put yourself to bed and you didn't even disturb mummy. But you know what, in future, go ahead and just wake mummy up. Because no, but, uh, I want to uh, kiss you goodnight, you know. Yeah. But I was... Really happy that they did that themselves. So Zane's got yeah. a key. He's thirteen. He opened the door, come in. Obviously, sorted himself out. But I was just disappointed that one, I didn't put him to bed or say good night like I do every night. But secondly, it was um, I didn't hear them. No, yeah. That no, but like, the thing is, yeah. You know that that I felt bad. I yeah. I felt disappointed myself. And then as soon as I got up in the next morning, which was five o'clock, mm. I said to Afro, "I feel so bad. I feel so bad." I kept saying that I felt so bad. And Afro looked down and he was like, "Yeah, I should have helped you as well." You know, we both just sat there going. And then I thought, "Come on, come on. What's you're, the worst? You're, I'm a you're human. human. Being. Exactly. I'm, I'm I was gonna say five that. That morning, I trained like I I, I had put I. Had, I had ran like seven classes, four in the morning and three in the afternoon and two coaching consultations. Mm. I was back to back. And then I sorted the boys out, got them something to eat and they were going. Mm. So, you know, to watch the match. So why am I being so tough on myself? You why am I telling be. myself I am being a disappointment? Mm. Why have I let anyone down? I haven't. No, you haven't. Nothing happened to them. Yeah. They came in, locked the door, 
they locked the door, which was Afro was well happy with that, so that was his big plus. Um, and they put themselves to bed. And they turned the right lights so on. So proud of them. They brushed their teeth. I could see yeah. the toothbrush had been used. Again, they could have just gone to bed. No, but you now, away. through that, you now seen how mature they are. So because of, because I fell asleep, yeah. I got the. I can now see this as I can see they had the opportunity that was presented to me that they're mature enough to bring themselves home, and Zane's big enough to make sure his brother also goes to sleep. Yeah. And the way he did. Yeah. So I had a little word with him the next day. I said, "I'm really proud of you. Yeah. I'm really proud that you yeah. did that." He yeah. didn't even. It wasn't even phased. He was like, "It's okay." I said, "Why didn't you wake me up?" He's like, "Mom, you're asleep." Exactly, he, he could have come in. tired because he did yeah. some questions, you know. They said something like that and I was so proud of them. And I, as a mum, then I felt my heart was filled with love mm. and joy and pride yeah. and less of that disappointment. So I could have seen that and beaten myself up yeah. or I see what opportunity that was presented to yeah. me and what's the positive side of it. Yeah. But my first reaction, and I'm sure you'll probably join me to say that, is you, you straight away are blame on yourself. Uh, yeah. The whole household... Why is it my fault yeah. that I fell asleep? No, we, we, we parents, we do that all the time. And, you know, sometimes, you know, even our kids, you know, we cannot meet up to their expectations. We think. We think. We think that they're expecting. Did I, did I think that, uh, did I, did Zane expect me to stay up? I don't think so. I think he was absolutely happy either way. Yeah, yeah. No, we expect, like, I, I've also had instances with, like, obviously, Zazar, because obviously when I'm teaching... And, and I need to pick her up from school. I, you know, every Wednesday when I'm teaching and obviously I have to tidy up and obviously, you know, our class run over, the kids get so excited. So by the time I'm let, I leave the school, I leave the school, I kid you not, 4.30 sometimes. Mm. So, and I know I have to pick up my child at 3.30, she finishes school at 3.15 and I have to pick her up at 3.30. So when I'm tidying up and I don't make it on time, you know, or when I barely, I'm like, oh my, I'm, I pack my stuff in the car and I'm zooming on the, like, like a mania driving there because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want to disappoint my child. I don't yeah. want my child to feel very, you know, sitting, standing there by herself. Every, every child is gone and she's standing there waiting for her mom. That's not the worst thing ever. Oh my gosh. What and I, I, as I'm driving and I see her this mental picture of her looking, sitting down there looking all sad, like waiting for her mom to come and pick her up. And I get there and I say to her, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry I'm late. She goes to me, mommy, I'm so right. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, no, so we put ourselves under that massive pressure. Yeah. Build, a, build it up to this much. Like, yeah. Right down. Right Tell down. Ourselves, you are a disappointment. You are a disappointment. Keep telling yourself that, guys, and you're definitely going to believe it. Oh, yeah. Actually, me and Afro, your we're words become your reality. If you keep telling yourself, I can't have a baby, I can't have a baby, I'm never going to meet anyone, I'm never going to meet... Your words become your reality. Why do you think I'm always saying that Mr. Right is there, is coming? Because I am speaking it into existence. It's not me sitting down there thinking, nobody wants me, nobody likes me. I think Zahara's laughing. Oh, uh, nobody, I'm sure she's laughing. Zahara, your, pot your potential father in law, your, your stepdaddy is coming. So, keep laughing. So, I speak it into existence. And I said to myself, I am single, yes, but Mr. Right is coming. It is, come on, it's coming. It's, co it's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. It's coming. Mr. Right is coming, coming to Anita. <laughs> So a little bit of entertainment for you guys on a Friday night. Oh my God, speak it into existence. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, if you want something, speak it into existence. And don't rely... I don't rely on anybody. I know. Because when you start relying on anybody, people will let you down. Do you know one of my clients? They have a date every week. I think you should join that. A date? What? She's having a coffee with someone. Hun, I don't have time to have I, coffee with someone. This, my, my client's so funny. She said... And this guy said, oh, I'm really looking forward to the date. And she said, yes, for coffee only. And he says, well, you know, I'm single. I, I, I've got a lot to offer. And she's like, I don't care. Coffee, coffee, and, coffee, coffee and chill. And, and, she, and then he goes, um, well, I'm not talking to anyone, you know. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm only interested in you. She's oh, like, yeah. well, shame on you, really, because uh, you can continue to talk. No, to coffee and chill. Want. Coffee, yeah, she's having a coffee. Anita anyway. doesn't have coffee and chill. You know, in her, she's me, her daughter's coming back from uni. She's a lot more excited to meet her. It's like, a fresh, it's a fresh week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, first week is gone. Yeah. And she's coming, she's like, I'm having a coffee with this guy. And then I'm picking my daughter up. Oh my God, she can <laughs> see the excitement on her face. No, listen, for me, how can, I mean, <laughs> oh, how, no, my own case is different. How do you expect to meet someone when you don't even put yourself out there? That's, I mean, this yeah, is going to be, gonna be a topic for another time. How to be a single If anyone has had a um, good experience online dating, please <laughs> come forward with some tips for <laughs> Anita. <laughs> we need to make it coming home. Oh, it's it's coming no, 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 no. I am... <laughs> 
No, we are going to talk about being. No, no, it's it's tea. There's no alcohol. No, smell it. No, the thing is, for me, mm. I know, no, I know when the time is Not right. Like <laughs> no, no, I know when the time is when the time is right. Yeah. I'm only joking. I'm not. I don't worry. I'm not. I know it's coming, but I know when the time is right. Is the time right? Getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Because right now, if somebody comes into my life in my in my business, it will be unfair to them. In your business? Why in my business. Oh, your business. Busy. 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 Busy and nest in my business. Yeah, but then good. Because it would make you stop. And it no, makes you um, do stuff. I've had I've had to look after babies and I did listen, I have a child that is 13 years old and I have a dog that is four years old. I have a, my hands are full and yeah, I have a business, I have a family. Once a week? Once a month? No. Once every other week. Do you mean to see them? Yeah. On the phone. On the phone? Yes. We can have we can have chats on the phone. And it can whisper some sweet words in my ears on the phone. Is that well enough? Done. Yeah, because I like my space. That means she's not ready, guys. You, you heard it here. Did you see that? She thinks you're ready. But if someone only wants a phone relationship, that's what this is. That's why he's not moving forward. Because he's no, 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 I'm not looking. No, no, you told the universe. No, the, no, 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 the thing is, I'm not looking for I'm not ready yet. I'm not, I'm not ready right, yet. I'm right. not ready yet. I'm content with myself. I, I'm liking where I am in life an, at the moment. Another few months, yeah? <sighs> I don't know. January. I don't know. You never know. I might come. I might come out tonight with a uh, oh. from the night out, and I fire up. Probably fire will try and push me with every Dick and Harry that she sees tonight. That probably sees, sees just single, and I then do, she I now say that. go I'm to like, an He's ER. looking at you. He's looking at you. And she that. does that all the time. And she thinks I'm. Listen, I'm the sober one out of all of them. That is true. And I, my eyes are wide open. I know when some people have that crooked eyes of think that they can have like a snog after they think in the back bike shed after they think okay that she thinks this girl is drunk. They think oh she's that easy that she can have a leg over. Me and um, no. Me and um, mine and Ephra's memories are of uh, around the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> nice memory. It's nice actually. I burnt my Listen, I will add mine. It mine, mine will come if they come. They'll give them needle and thread. They start making necklaces. Hey, what that is when, that's when we know that we are having a nice partnership. You want them to work? You're looking for a work colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Universe, this is why you're not sending work. All the intentions no! here are wrong. <laughs> not a work, but no, maybe it's something that can kind of chat to me while I work. Did you, you see know? that? See? So she's going to use them. This is, what have, this is why they're not here yet. <laughs> basically, basically, she's... Because she can do the stuff with her, with her eyes shut. So she's, so she's going to give them attention. And she'll be I can, I can well. multitask. I'm quite good at multitasking. But, but she's not going to give them her undivided attention. That's the problem there. there That's it. Like That's it. In fact, this is going to be a topic for another day. I will not... To be honest with you, I'm, it's going to be... attention. Yeah. Is not gonna be fair in them. Let me be practically. Honest. I know. I know. I'm asking God for it for this and saying God bless me with. But the reason why I feel God and the universe is not giving me the person yet ready, is because yeah. I'm not ready yet. Because my hands are full. Yeah. And it will be unfair for them to bless me with someone and I cannot give them what they want. So the universe is saying this girl's hand is full. She's she's busy. She's busy. But there's a side of you then then who wants it as well. No, I don't want it. Don't I don't mind. crave it. Please no. be honest no, with me. No, I am me so honest and with you. all are in No, life. no. I don't, don't crave for it. I don't crave sex. I don't no, crave no, no, for sex. attention. No, companionship. No, I don't crave it. Cuddle. No. Sweet whispers in your ears. I, I don't crave it. Someone to make you a cup of tea. I don't crave it. I can make myself a cup of tea as you can see. But a cup of tea made by someone else is really... I don't need anybody to run me a bath. I can run myself a damn. But that's the thing. When I'm expecting that of somebody, I'll be frustrated. If you you're expecting... Expect, if you're expecting... you won't expect. You hope. I hope. Yeah, when it happens. When the universe thinks it's time for me to have it, then I'll have it. And I'll embrace it. But right now, I am not forcing it. So that I will not be disappointed when I do get it. Okay. I know some people are forcing relationship. I must have it. I must have it now, and they fight That's to the nail. That's when you feel nail. disappointment because you forced yourself. You forced yourself stuff. into doing stuff. Whenever you force yourself into doing stuff that is not right, at the time, you're gonna be disappointed. What about like if you've got a really good relationship and the partner cheats, and you find out how disappointed you're gonna feel then? Oh God, that one you that, that one. That's a horrible feeling. Isn't that it? one you need to go. I'm sorry. That's a disappointment. That is yeah. We're gonna go through that. No, no, the, you're disappointed. Be 
Yeah, that that, that's that the has a oh are. my god! Wrong, isn't it? That, for them to um, then have gone. And that's it. Out. Because yeah. the thing is, they they failed in all kinds of ways. They didn't respect you, James. Yeah. They didn't respect you. They didn't appreciate you. For them to now step out of the way, step out of their zone to now go cheat on you. That means that they didn't value. They didn't so there was value you whatsoever. Wrong with beforehand. Well, that's the thing. You, when you start placing your value on somebody else, yeah. you start losing the power over yourself. Love yourself first. When you love yourself first, you don't expect anything, and you'll never get disappointed. That exactly is right. When you love, love yourself, yourself first, first, yeah, take care of yourself. You, you will never be good. disappointed because when you don't love yourself enough and you don't hold yourself in a high esteem and you start looking for your worth in somebody else, for somebody else to fulfill you, this is where you get hurt. This is where you get disappointed. Mm. For me right now, I am not bragging. I know what I, I am worth and I will not settle for anything less. I can make, I can make what you call it, um, adjustments because compromises. obviously compromises. Do you know what I'm saying? But, if, come on. If I see your behavior is not right for me, why would I even put myself in the position to entertain that rubbish? Yeah, exactly. And then tomorrow when he cheats on me, I get start sitting down disappointed thinking, oh, but you saw the signs in the first place. And you because you were so lady, desperate. But because you're so frightened to confront, you will ignore it. And, and you might say, it's only happening the once. It's only happened the once. That once is enough. And that's when you need to question it. And, you know, and don't be scared to say no. And don't be, because we, we are so scared to say no. Because we don't want to hear the rejection. Because rejection sucks. Hmm. Doesn't it? It does. It does. But you pick yourself back up and you keep going. Yeah. Rejection sucks. It yes. Really it's sucks. life. It sucks the living day life of you. But you know what? <laughs> you pick yourself up and you uh, keep you going. Know, you learn it, don't you? you learn oh it my gosh. Remember, well, you want to be a friend of a certain group and they say no. And you get so rejected and you feel so shit. You're like, how dare they? I'll show them. I'll have a bigger group than you. You learn oh, from oh, them, oh, don't like, you? Oh, I'll, I'll have a big party and I'll invite the cool people to my party. And then what are you trying to please? You're trying to please other people, not yourself. Exactly. But you go through that, don't you? And then you act, you all, and you act your way through all that just yeah. because you want to please people. But it can change personality, guys. Oh you know that. Oh, my God. You start becoming a sociopath. Exactly. Stop. Stop and think before you uh, go into that enter that kind of world because it's, it's, it's actually, dangerous actually dangerous and nightmare dangerous. personality changer you might not be yourself because you're so uh caught into the rejection and how dare they do this to me and the egotism and i find i find that in like relationships when the guy when the guy dumps you and go with somebody else you know i say oh, i'm gonna change myself i'm gonna lose some weight i'm gonna cut my hair i'm gonna look so good and tell him what he's missed and then you start taking Snapchats. And then he start taking like keep pushing it in his face. It's like, <laughs> and then and then every night you now stalk his Instagram or stalk his Facebook. Like, which girls is he going? And oh, then you say to man, stop it, stop it. Stop that. it what on earth are you doing to yourself? He caused the hurt, yes, but you are causing yourself even more hurt by playing the victim all over mm. and all over again. But you it absolutely hurts what he's done to you or she's done to him. Um, but you've got to stop and think if he doesn't like me, who I Listen, am. Listen, that's again. It boils down to that thing doesn't, when you now, when fault. you don't appreciate your self worth and so, your value. Did you see how many times the self worth and self love? Oh my gosh! To every single topic, and the reason we talk boldly and fierce, fearlessly about so many things uh, or issues in life, like the disappointment, mm. is because we have come from that place. Yeah of learning we didn't self-love before mm -hmm. we've started to self-love and mm. we keep reminding ourselves that's so important because mm. every now and then we forget too yeah but we remind ourselves and, we and if, if you don't if you don't love yourself position. if you don't love yourself the person can don't know how to love you if you don't love yourself they wouldn't know how to love you they don't. when you love yourself it shows and you can then love another person if you love yourself when you love yourself it magnets is like magnetic to the right kind of love yeah if you don't love yourself guess what you're gonna Attract person that is also in denial or is also lacking love. Yeah And anybody that doesn't have love cannot give you love anyway because you're asking too much from them because and you're asking them to love you When they don't even know what love is and you're frustrated You're getting disappointed thinking he doesn't love me. Oh my gosh. He doesn't love He doesn't love you because he doesn't know how to love. Oh, oh, He's never learned the skill
skill. Just because he's a guy doesn't mean that he knows everything. Do you know what I'm course, saying? Yeah. He doesn't know everything. The same thing goes with a woman as well. Just because you're a woman and they have it all perfectly put together doesn't mean they know that anything. They don't know jack nothing. So many of us don't know how to love. We it. walk around acting. We yes. a lot of us walk around actors. Great act. In fact, I need to start giving them Oscars. I need to make my own award. Award for fake personality. Goes to. Goes to. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Your phone has dropped. <laughs> <laughs> award to means um what else? Uh, another fake award goes uh, fake. to. Fake. Yeah, fake um whatever. Yeah, I can dish out so many awards. And the thing is, I you know, as I'm walking. It's interesting, as I'm walking around, like let's say if I go to the city, and I'm walking the more, I can see it on people's faces. People that are not happy. It shows. When you're not happy within, it shows in the exterior. Yeah. Because they're so tense. They're so tense. And they're staring. Every you. little thing, they flip. They're like, hmm. Even when you now say hello to them, they look at you like, why you said hello to what, you? Yeah. What did you say hello to It's me? that face, isn't it? Like, it's not what? relaxed or there's it's no smile relaxed. on it. It's like, I don't, don't walk around with a smile on your face because you're going to look like a weirdo. Huh? Really? Why don't you look like a weirdo with a uh, slapped ass face? People are not responsible for your happiness. You are. Yeah. And then you know, people but then are you will not, never expect nothing. That's it. People are not expect... If you cannot give yourself happiness or give yourself compliments... Yeah? Or you have to wait for your other heart. And you have to wait for other person to give you, put a smile on your face. How sad is that? That is not on. If you have to now wait for somebody to tell you you're beautiful. <laughs> seriously? Really? Look in the mirror. Look, Look at in yourself. It. When you when you have a shower, when you have a shower, you work come out of that shower, stand in the mirror, you tell you, big yourself up. Girl, my, you are so beautiful. Because you know what? There's not another person like you in the whole world. That's what else it. do you want? What what most unique what unique thing to be, isn't it? The why do you want to be? Thing? Why do you want to reject how special you are to become somebody else that you're not? Why do you? Why, why do you want? Why, why do you want somebody? Why do you want somebody to tell you how good you are when you you know you saw that you are yeah. one of a kind? There's nobody like you in this whole world. Why do you want somebody else to now tell you that is authentic and how fabulous you are if you don't see how fabulous you are yourself? Because guys, there's not another person like you. And guess what? The person will not tell you anyway that you're fabulous because they don't want you to be fabulous because they don't want you to be more precious than jealous. they are because they are jealous. Why would you want somebody to tell you you're fabulous if you don't tell yourself? That's, that's why I tell them. So if you're going around fishing for compliments, looking for somebody mm. to compliment you for you to feel good, that is sad. It's temporary and, yeah. I mean, and then sometimes people can even fake the, the yeah, compliment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And a lot of people just say it for the sake of it. Anyway, if they say it's politeness and being in social communities, but if you are happy with yourself and you tell yourself daily, sometimes you might think, well, I don't believe I am. I think so-and-so is more beautiful. Okay, well, then start doing something about about it and go and stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself that you are beautiful, that you are stunning, you, that you are gorgeous. I mean, for me personally, it's an insult. It is the greatest insult when you tell yourself you don't appreciate yourself. For me, it's the greatest slap on the face. It's like someone gave you a gift. Imagine somebody gave you a gift. Yeah? You took the big gift, shook it, and you give it back and say, I don't want it. That is how it feels like. God and the universe brought you into this world with all your greatness, with all your beauty, with all your fabulousness. And then you reject that beauty that you should be telling yourself and praising yourself. And when God and the universe says you are perfect, you are perfect. You don't you need me to it. tell you, you that you are perfect. It. You need to believe that. So when you now reject how powerful you are, and you now have to expect me to tell you how powerful you are, you're giving me your power. You're giving me your, you're letting go. You're allowing me to, to you allow me to go in and take your power away from you Until and hold you your power. You like and if I don't tell you that you're beautiful, I will not let go of your power. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm walking around with your power, with your special power. And then you're there feeling worthless. Till I tell you you're beautiful. Oh, tell me you're beautiful. Tell me I'm gorgeous. Tell me I'm gorgeous. Tell me, oh, tell me I'm wonderful. Oh, tell me I'm... Sweetheart, tell me. And then you even start crying because the person doesn't tell you you're gorgeous. Sweetheart, tell me I'm gorgeous. You're gorgeous. And then you'll tell, you and he'll tell you, well, he'll now tell you. He'll now tell you, well, darling, you are. 
But you are. Me. No, you are. But he hasn't told you 100% because he's reserved it. So he's held back that power. He hasn't given it to you completely you because he knows you're vulnerable and you ah. don't deserve to have it yes. fully. Because if he yes. gives you that power, what's going to happen is you're going to give that power to somebody else and that other person is going to misuse it. So you become vulnerable. Mm. You put yourself in a vulnerable position. So you need to start learning to love yourself regardless. We all, we're not perfect. You know, the way this thing is like you say, practice big. We are all work in progress. I mean, you see me here. I have my lumps and bumps. I have my imperfections, but I'm loving to embrace my imperfections because Anita is fabulous the way she is. 100%. And you know what? I know how to work it. I'll work my imperfections that you will think is perfect. Yes. Let me tell you the truth. I used to walk around for years thinking I had bad legs. I had scars. I, when, I, when I fell down when I was little, I had loads of scars because I fell down a lot when I was young. I fell down a lot. I fell and I don't mean falling on the carpet. I fell on the gravel floor. I had scratches on. So throughout my teenage years, I used to wear trousers a lot. I used to wear trousers because I was so in. And then people used to say, oh my God, you can tone your legs. Use bleaching cream to tone your legs, to oh. fade it, to fade the scars. Right. So by using bleaching cream to, to fade it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to use bleaching cream to fade my legs. So what happened one day? I stood in front of that mirror. As naked as, don't even have that vision. I stood there and I looked at myself. I said, I've been covering my legs for years. Over what? Scars. I haven't girl, noticed anything. Ever. Girl, embrace your... I think your legs are so smooth. Mm. One color. Exactly, because I didn't appreciate myself. I, don't think I was seeing all about. these things. I was seeing all these things and I became enslaved to my, to what I now yeah. dreamed, dreamed of my head. That had. And you can start believing in it. And I start believing in it. You've got bad legs. You've yeah, got I've bad got bad legs. legs. Exactly what we should say. Keep telling yourself you're not gorgeous. Keep telling yourself you're going to believe it. Yeah, your Keep words you, become your Keep reality. Keep telling yourself whatever you don't want to believe in, you will become that person. That's it. So and what then I, older you get, the more that belief gets hardened, and the more you're gonna, it's harder to come out of it. Yeah, and so then you now start telling people about it. Take five minutes today to think about what we're saying and see how much you value yourself. If I was to ask you, give yourself out of ten, majority of the people are going to actually put themselves much lower than five. I give myself 10 out of 10. Exactly. And that that's comes with the confidence that comes with telling yourself that, that we've just been saying. Um, and if you are, if you have scored lower than five you, yourself, you need to ask why. Why? Because you are one. You are, There's no another person there's nobody, like you. Yeah, that's it. So there's only one you. you. How, can you, how can you score yourself low? Because other person has told you it's not your shame. It's someone else's, not that's yours. That's it. So and you, you start, stop, that. Start, stop seeing your worth through somebody else's eyes. I try to look at yourself you, oh. and your features and your belly that's and the thing. your legs. If you're blind, your bum, that's the thing. If you, you, have... if you cannot see what you are worth, you'll continue to be a beggar for life. Waiting for Let's another see. person. Yeah, waiting for somebody. Approval. A approval. Likeness, whether they like you or not, whether how many boys looked at you, they didn't look at you, or listen, say. you carry yourself with confidence. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. You carry yourself with confidence. As you can see tonight, I am hmm, this girl, I am five foot seven, five foot eight. I am gonna put my six inch heels on and I'm gonna I, wear I'm the most. I am gonna I am wear the most. One. I am gonna wear the most figure hugging dress ever Wait. to bring out my assets that I know that I have and some people pay money for. I and I am gonna assets, walk in the assets. Assets. Like ARC hey, assets. Hey, 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 hey. Oh those. Oh people are paying money for this. Hey, hey, hey. And mine is for free. I am gonna dress nicely and I'm gonna walk with like a queen that I am. We are all queens and kings. Embrace your Whatever kingdom. Whatever you want to believe in, remember, guys. Embrace your kingdom. Embrace your kingdom. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to say. So back to just disappointment. Is disappointment is whatever you want it to be. That's it. Or you want to learn a lesson out of it and yeah. come out of that. Yes, it does hurt because mm -hmm. that's how you feel. Like someone stabbed in your chest, mm -hmm. and you feel like, oh, what's the point of everything? Whether that's weight loss, whether that is child that has let you down because mm. because they've spoken to you badly and mm -hmm. you're so disappointed i thought i brought them brought them up in that way stop thinking about yourself and think why are they being like that are they going through teenage years mm. what is going on think yeah. about it before you react straight away and yeah think, i you have not done mm -hmm. why are you blaming yourself for everything mm. 
Why are you blaming yourself for everything in life, whether you're a wife, whether you're a husband, if a guy is listening to this, yeah, I expect everything of you. And if you don't deliver, you're disappointed. How many things are you going to deliver? Some things you're not. You just can't. Simply, you need the rest. You need to stop. That's it. And just always remember, you cannot be everything to everyone. You cannot be everything to everyone. Not everybody's going to like you. Nobody is, not everybody's going to be, be pleased with you. The only person you should be pleased with is yourself. Is yourself. And if you think, oh, you should have done better, fine. Next time, improve on it. But look at what you were good at first before you put yourself 100% down. Exactly. Above, rise above it. Look at what you've achieved, not what you haven't achieved. Celebrate your, even your failures, celebrate it. Because, because you have learned if you did, from If you it. did not fail, means you didn't try. Exactly. You tried, you failed, celebrate yourself. Okay? You were in a relationship, it didn't work out. It's okay. Move on. Plenty of more. Plenty. Where that came from. That's it. What's that thing saying? Plenty of fishes in the ocean. Well, Plenty of fish in the sea. In the sea. Yeah. There is. And the thing is, don't go searching for it desperately. You are worth catching. Whether it's in a job, in a relationship, you are worth catching. You are one person. There's only one you. If you're going to be that the fish in the midst of many... You have qualities that is different from other fishes. And your probability of yours getting caught is not so high, yes, but you will get caught. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you get caught, it's special. Mm -hmm. Because that person that catches you will appreciate you, be it in a job, be it in a relationship. You are worth catching. And I cannot repeat that again. You're you, worth you catch, are worth yeah. catching. You are a catch. You are a catch. You are not just any random petty cheap fish. You are one expensive fish to catch. So you need to start celebrating that. You need to start telling yourself that. Do not tell yourself you are not worth loving. Do not tell yourself that you are undervalue yourself. When you undervalue yourself, people can feel it. They can see it. When you undervalue yourself before you even go into a job interview and they see, they can see that and that's when they reject you, you because know, they can feel be, that. Is there, a, is there something where you could go and do, which be, like bigs yourself up or keep telling yourself self-worth? Is there like No, self-affirmation. Self-affirmation. How do you do that? Self-affirmation. Pick up a pen and paper. I do that every morning. Pick up a pen and paper and write down 100 things you like about yourself. 100? Yes. Not 10? There's a lot. Start off with five if it's hard. And then five keep times, building yeah. up on it every single day. Yeah, okay. Have yeah, a started. gratitude journal. Started. Things I love about myself. Pick up a book. Pick up a book. It doesn't have to be an expensive That's journal. Really good, good Pick up a pen. Every single day. You can say on Monday. Make it a weekly thing. Yeah. On Monday. Make Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, you write down something you like about yourself. Tuesday, you write about everything you like about yourself. You've done it seven. You've done it seven times, right? That's a week. Then up for up the week. It doesn't mind. It doesn't matter if you repeat it all the time. It doesn't matter. It's telling yourself. It's self information. You're constantly reminding yourself your worth, your worth, your worth. And when you keep writing that, and always go back and look through it. Yeah, definitely. So when because you're down, look, pick that up. And when look. you're down, look through it. Just tell yourself you're a queen. Just tell yourself you're a king. Just tell yourself you're one of a kind. Just tell yourself you are special. Just tell yourself you are amazing. Just tell yourself you are gorgeous. precious jewel. Just tell yourself Beautiful. you are gorgeous. Just tell yourself you are worth the catch. Stunning. Just tell yourself you are stunning. Tell yourself you Best are... Best thing ever. Hmm? And you are the only one. Hon honestly, There's listen. No one like you. If you guys... If you guys need encouraging, I can tell you... I can sit here and tell you how amazing you are. You are special. You are awesome. You are brilliant. You are intelligent. You are mighty. You are a warrior. You are a conqueror. You are superior. You are... Oh my God. I can keep going. I like it. It's very speechy. Story. Oh my Just gosh. Awesome. Do you know how amazing... It's awesome. Just, just celebrate yourself. Celebrate your gorgeous self. Do not let anybody tell you that you are not amazing. You are strong. Don't tell any, even Power. the ex-boyfriends that have looked at you and said, mm, you are not that old, you are not like, you are not all that anyway. Say to them, you're lost, you're lost, babe. I know that I'm a fabulous babe. And you know what? You don't deserve to keep me. That's what I keep telling people. If you don't want me, I know what I'm worth. And I know that I'm a gem for somebody else to catch. I love that.
Beautifully said. My gem is not good for you. If it was good for you, you would have kept me. It wasn't good for you to hold me. So to keep dirty. me. dirty. <laughs> so my, my gem doesn't need a dirty hand. No. Or a dirty soul. Dirty so start mind. seeing it like that. Anything that doesn't want you, you don't need. No. Anything that doesn't want you, you don't need. Everybody who's listening, put your heads high, guys. Chin up now. See how you feel? Chest out. How do you feel? How do you feel straight away? Pretty good? Yeah. Exactly. And this is how you should be. Not You're look away. down. Do Hold yourself down. to high esteem. Do not look down. Yeah. You're not and a keep disappointment. Loving yourself. Yep. You're never a disappointment. You are amazing. Never. Whatever you did. You're amazing. It's a lesson and that you've learned and you move on from it. Okay. And Instagram is counting down. But guys, anyway, <laughs> thank you quick. so much for joining us. We love you guys look and have a lovely week. Yeah. Because we're going to be Party! partying. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. So that was Soul Sister, and the topic today was disappointment. Disappointment, yes. Um, and that was pretty good, actually. Wasn't that it? was awesome. So we just covered things like you should never call yourself a disappointment. No. Yes, when things happen, and you say the word because the dictionary has made a word. Yeah. Or people have made this word disappointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be honest, it shouldn't be around. No, it shouldn't. Because it's a horrible word. It's yeah. an emotion that you feel temporarily mm -hmm. because what you wanted didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You learn from it. You move on from it. Yeah. Because you learn from it. If mm -hmm. you look at it like that, then it's not a disappointment, is it? Mm -mm. What is it then? It's a lesson. Yeah. So you've moved forward because now you are that little bit stronger, a yeah. little bit wiser because yeah. of what you've learned. Yeah. So how is it a disappointment? Exactly. It is not a disappointment. No. Do not use that word, guys. It's no. a horrible word. It's a horrible word. Horrible. Find another word you can use in replacement of that. Exactly. Because disappointment is a very harsh, wicked word. word it's exactly. a wicked word. It's a wicked word. You know, if you're like saying it's my it's like telling someone you're a murderer, you're a killer. That's how I say it. Yeah, it comes in that kind of it kind of Yeah, awful. it kills the soul. When it you say disappointment, the it kills Absolutely. the soul. And he's 100% right. It kills, it kills the, the soul. soul. And please, before you say that to your kids, please stop yourself. Once you've said that, it's you cannot, with you. Yeah, once you Trust say me, a word, it's hard to take it, it back. I know it because I've heard it way yeah. too many times. So yeah. It's not a nice word. Okay? Yeah. You're not a disappointment and you have to... If you keep saying it repeatedly to your kids, they will start believing in it. What will happen is their self-esteem is going to be low. It will affect their job. It will affect their relationship. It will affect how they communicate with people because you have said it so many times and they've started to believe. And if you say Don't to your children that, that you love them, how can you turn around and tell something that you love that you're disappointed with it? Really don't. You know, if you have been saying it, please think about changing and go and apologize to your child because they can never, it's the action they've done, it's the mm -hmm. behavior that let you down. That not you don't like, they are, that you don't like. They are not a disappointment. How can yeah. any human being be, be a disappointment? Is that somebody turning around to you and telling you you're a disappointment? How is that possible? What a horrible word. That's horrible. So that's it from Soul Sister, guys. We're going to go get ready for party. Yay! I have literally got half an hour. Yes. Is that right? To get. Oh my gosh, yeah, you've got half an hour. To put some uh, makeup on and look like a girl. Uh, and uh, I. You are a girl. <laughs> that's goodbye from Soul Sisters. Till next Friday, we'll catch you again with a fresh new topic. Yay! Bye, guys. Bye. Guys. Bye. Oh.